Okay, so let's do everybody's chick check. So I learned my lesson. I have a hen here in Sky that doesn't want me to mess with her box, and I let her chase me away. So when I finally take the box and get a good look at her chicks, what I find is that I missed a chick going splayed, and he's so splayed I have to put him down. And her oldest chick is so big now that I can't get the darn band on him. And I'm really not very happy about that. At 10 days, it's like, wow. You know, at one point I had said i got to check their, try and band them at 9 days. But I had so many chicks that weren't big enough at 9 days that the band would just fall off again. Um, that I changed it to 10 days. And now I know why I started checking at 9. <clears throat> I am going to pull him out later and see if I can't use a little soap or, or mineral oil or something to slide that band onto him. Because um, it's close. But, um... I wanted to put him back right now because he'd been out for a while. So, um, she had a fifth egg in there that was infertile, pure yellow all the way through. Um, her littlest chick was not growing to my satisfaction, but I had to remove both the, the egg and the second largest chick because of its splayed leg. So she now only has three chicks in there, and I'm pretty confident that she's the type of mom that now that the burden's a little lighter, um, she will be able to... Uh, catch that little guy up but I will be keeping an eye on him I will have to pull her out of that box every day and really get a look at those chicks so that's my lesson and I'm gonna wait for a couple hours because I just completely disrupted her nest by taking one of her chicks and her egg but the other thing is once there's no longer any eggs for them to sit on in the box the mother is free to run in and out much more often um, she's not you know nailed down by having to incubate an egg so I freed her up and it's going to be easier for her to feed that little one um, so I the two babies with these two their own chick and Gray's and Cloudy's baby um, I just banded as well they're all the same age 10 days old their chick was just the right size Gray and Cloudy's chick but it's a little small she says don't take my babies again so I'm not sure if it's going to stay on. I'll have to check tomorrow and see if the band is still on there. Um, but still, I can easily tell them apart, which is nice. So um, they are now banded and, and documented as to which baby is which. Let's see what all... Oh, this is um, Kobe. Let's see what Coco's doing in here. Are you laying any eggs? She just says, no, I'm just waiting. She's a lady in waiting. Um, you see this guy's wing here that's all messed up? I think a rat came in here and grabbed his wing and tried to pull him through the bars, but he got away. So we now have a rat. That's his favorite place to sleep. So there's now a rat trap here. Baby peanut butter, if it comes back, we'll catch it. Either that or just scare the life out of it. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what his Luscious is doing down here. Okay, Lush, watch you got there. She got her same three eggs. She might have stopped at three. She's an older hen, so that may be all she's got. There's enough for three eggs. Okay, there's Sp Sprite, who became a daddy yesterday. And let's see what Mama and Baby are doing now. That baby still looks very small to me. Really small. He's still alive, and I see something in his crop, but he's a little tiny thing. But I'm not going to take him or anything, so... She's done this before. She knows what she's doing, so I'm not afraid that she's not going to do it. She, I did, she's spending a lot of time outside the box, um, so I did come and sit out here yesterday, and she does go in the box for quite a bit, too. She just comes out to watch me, I think. Um, but also, it's very warm. We're up in the 80s all of a sudden, so she doesn't have to sit on the baby all the time to keep it warm. So, um, there's that. Look at Sky. She's looking at me, saying, you bitch, you raided my nest. I'm sorry, Missy, but sometimes you need a little help. Okay, so they got one baby, and hopefully we're going to start having um, a few more now that they've started hatching. Let's see if she can go back in now. Um, okay, here is Razzle, and it, they're due to start hatching chicks yesterday. Do we got anything going on in there, Miss Bing? Let me see. One, two, three, four. Where's the fifth egg? There it is. Okay, so she's not hatching anything yet. That's all right. Um, how are you doing, Mr. Uh, Scruffy? You got some eggs in there. You should go eat them. This is another hen that wants me to not mess with her nest. But let's take a look. She has hatched one chick, 
Oh, I see more broken eggs. I think we have another chicken there. Let's see. Did you make another baby? Did you make another baby? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there they are. Two for two. Yay. No eggs here yet? Eat some of those eggs, Missy. That might be the nutrient you need. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, so here's another nest that I need to keep a close eye on. I took their oldest chick because she was having trouble feeding all the little ones. Um, she's due to have one. She has two eggs in there last time I looked. One of them I know is no good because it was supposed to hatch second and it never hatched. But there is a last egg that might hatch here. So, um, let's take a look and see. She has three babies in here and last time I looked they were nicely graduated in size. So, the older chicks were doing a little catch up. And the new one had food in his crop. Um, so let's see where we're at now. Oh, oh, we're up to four now. Okay, I know this last egg. Oh, and there, look, number two, number one is the biggest. They're all graduated sizes. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna check this egg. Uh, oh, it looks kind of solid. Um, I'll leave it for a few more days. Um, but that should have been her last baby. So they look, they're they're growing. They seem to be growing apace. So I'm kind of okay with this. Why does that one little baby's egg stick out like that? Don't go splay on me. So the new little guy has um, food in his crop, and so far so good. Um, there's a part of me that wants to take the oldest chick again and stick it with um, Miss What's Her Name over here, just because I know this girl has been sick. Um, I'll have to think about it. I could do that tomorrow or the next day and still be within timeline. So what I've been doing, I mean a lot of people take the youngest chick um, and move it to a different box, but one of the problems that you run into is that you get this wide age discrepancy. So like if I had, when I went to relieve her of having too many chicks, if I had taken the youngest one and put it with um, Matilda and Izod, it would have been way younger and the age discrepancy there would have not worked. And also, by taking the biggest chick, I take the biggest burden, because it's the one that's eating the most. So, um, I'm, it kind of worked. And Matilda didn't have any trouble taking it. So, um, and it also doesn't delay Matilda getting done raising her two chicks and um, getting back out in the big flight to uh, get in condition to come back and try again. So, um, whereas if I gave her a chick that was 10 days younger than the one she had, it would delay her by another week and a half because she has to finish raising that last chick. So, if I take one of these four babies from her, which I probably will, um, it's going to be the oldest one because it's closest in age to Lacey's chick over here. So, okay, um, what else are we doing here? Keep teasing her. She's going to fall for you. Have faith. He's teasing her. He let her discourage him at first. Um, and he stayed away from her. And now he's starting to... He dances back and forth and sidles up to her and pulls her feathers and then runs away. And he's like a little boy on the playground. But that's what it takes to get a girl's attention. So he's working it now. Here's Haverty. Let's see how his little guy is doing. I'm sorry. Oh, he's a fat little man. Yes, he is. And pretty as a picture. Yeah, he's in good shape. Okay. And uh, these two, this is Sparky and Lilith. We got anything in here yet? <gasps> we got an egg. Woo! Two first eggs today. Okay, so. Things are going well. Like I said, I, I'm not done trying to get a band on Sky's first baby here, but I just disrupted her nest quite a bit. So I'll wait for a few hours, and then I'm going to take him in and dip his foot in soap and see if I can't get that band over his, his ankle. It's his ankle, the, the joint where all of his toes meet that's too big to get the band over. And he is a big baby. But, you know, Sky is a big bird, you know? Whereas um, I might have to do 
um, gray and cloudy's baby over again, even though it's the same age, because his foot's much smaller. Um, first of all, they grow at different rates, but cloudy and gray are smaller birds. So, you know. Yeah, I'm probably going to take that chick. Um, and move him over to these guys. Just because um, Cloudy's had such a hard time. And the chicks are really small, which could be because the parents are small. Or it could be because um, mom's not feeling well and she's not keeping up with the food thing. So, And, you know, now she's back to four chicks again. She actually hatched out. And that one egg, which I would have liked to take, but it actually looks doesn't look rotten inside. And it looks like it's um, it might be dried out. Maybe has a crack in it or something. But um, I'll have to get the flashlight out here and candle it properly before I eliminate it. Um, so she has got five chicks. So, uh, yeah, I, I need to, um, I probably need to take that chick. I'll think about it a little longer. So, very exciting. A new baby, a new baby, first eggs, first eggs. Wow. You know, I, I was sitting there, I, you know, I know you, people that have been following this channel know that I've been sitting there going, geez, maybe I poisoned them with the medications that I use to try and cure them of all their illnesses, and that's why the chicks aren't hatching, and yada yada. Um, the farther I get into spring, the more I know it had nothing to do with that. You don't bur breed birds in the winter. You breed them in the spring. Um, so I have heard don't breed them in the summer um, because it gets too hot and the babies cook. I actually bred um, a few, three, good job Sparky, fertilize those eggs. Um, I actually bred three birds last May and they, and they got through um, a, what do you call it, a heat wave where they got up to 105. And the fertility rate was very low, but I didn't trim their vents. And the eggs were actually infertile. They didn't die. They were just never fertilized. So um, I am not at all sure that we're not supposed to breed them in, in the high summer. The other thing that I found out is their body temperature normally is 105 degrees, which is going to make them much better adapted to heat than us paltry humans that uh, our body temperature is only 98 degrees. They can tolerate much more heat than we can. So... So I begin to think that, uh, as usual, I've just gotten a whole lot of really lousy information. Um, and I'm spending this first year finding out what works and what doesn't. So, all right, we'll leave these two to their, uh, to their privacy.